what is going on YouTube and everybody else who's watching new and returning. Hope you are all having a good day. We are in the northeast part of Albuquerque, New Mexico in a village called Placitas and we're heading to some BLM land right outside of a neighborhood. It's a real hard to find spot. I gotta wind through the, all these houses. These are big old houses up in the hills. And um, you can actually see the balloons taking off because uh, it's balloon festival time. Tomorrow's the first day, October 5th, I think is the opening day. I saw some balloons this morning. I'm out here to work on the RVs that come in from across the country. It's gonna be about 100,000 people visiting Albuquerque for this balloon festival. I myself will not be attending this event. It's uh, really for families. I just can't see myself going in there and having a blast looking at all these balloons. But uh, look at this view, beautiful. Got some construction going on. I don't know what, what is this? Type of pipeline for something. Putting something in here. Anyway, as I continue here, we gotta wind through all these houses and I'll show you guys my camp spot and uh, we'll get set up. I stayed here last night too. Uh, kind of freaked me out. I didn't know there's wild horses here. I just heard a bunch of rumbling and running. You know, obviously an animal was making those noises. And lo and behold, it was a pack of wild horses. So it was a sight to behold and it freaked me out for a little bit. So I guess that's good. I'm a city boy. I don't know what the sounds of horses are like. It wasn't until I got, you know, the typical horse sounds you think of that they make. I heard those, I heard the hooves. I heard the, okay, they're just horses. So we're almost there. It literally takes 20 minutes just winding through all these houses to get here. So I'll come back when I'm at the entrance. All right. We're almost at the entrance. Oh, nice. I saw this geodesic dome. That's actually a house. That's not one of those dome kits. Uh, that's what I was thinking it was earlier this morning. I just saw the top and it looked like one of those kits you get off of Amazon. Cool. I'm gonna go all the way down to this road at the very end, make a left and go straight and I will be at the entrance. And again, this place is called Placitas, Placitas Village. And the BLM land here isn't too easy to find on Google Maps either. I had to find it on iOverlander. And if you aren't familiar with iOverlander, it's a cool app. Uh, you can go anywhere in the world and then I'll have spots uh, detailing resources, campsites, formal or, you know, you know, off-grid sites. Uh, people will just put wherever there's water or if there's just details you need whenever you're traveling out and about in your rig. It's good for RVers, overlanding folk, Everybody should have I Overlander. I'm not sponsored by them, but it's just an app I use to find these places. Okay, bear with me. There's gonna be some noise. I have a lot of stuff rattling around in here. Yeah, earlier today I had a gentleman who lives in this neighborhood came by. He was scoping me out, asking me if I was with these other people that were camping there. And of course I said no. A solo traveler but oh. they're very protective of this area they don't want any riffraff coming down from seattle and you know starting a homestead on their blm land in their backyard a lot of people go hiking and walk their dog that's what he was telling me i saw a lot of people this morning just out but man look how beautiful it is and then towards the edge out here there's a view of the valley so it's pretty cool and then here's the Sandia mountain range, I believe it was. I believe that's what it is. We're on the eastern side of the mountain. Albuquerque's on the right side of that mountain. So I can see the far northeast part of Albuquerque, the metro area from Big Cliff. You see, we're right in the back. 
backyard of this neighborhood. And this is actually somebody's rear driveway, it looks like. This is part of the neighborhood. Yeah, we got a single axle towable trailer with a mid-sized truck. He made it out just fine. So I know most of you have not seen this set up at all. I've hinted to it in the last few videos, but it keeps growing. Right here I bought, it's a, I think an old school Rotopax three gallon gas can, for example. I just bought that. Over there I bought a diesel heater for a hundred bucks, a Chinese one. It did go through the car wash today, so I don't know if it works anymore. I bought more Milwaukee pack out. It's pretty much what I live out of. I have, toolboxes disguising my living situation so and I do this so I don't have to pay rent and I don't have a family so although I'm working towards that this will do for now and I just bought a butane stove I hook up Starlink but I don't think I will this time I'm out of battery at the moment this butane stove, I'll make some soup. I think that's what I'm gonna make tonight. Something quick and easy. Oh, locked up my toolbox. I also have one of those big Milwaukee tripod lights and I could illuminate this entire campsite, but I won't. I hear that's rude, so. I got one neighbor right now. These guys were here yesterday. And there was a van way over there, but 
so far. It was just me and him, but we got one more. Tomorrow is the start of the Bloom Festival. So I'm wondering if we're gonna have a lot more visitors. I know I panned around and showed you the video, I showed you the city, but man, look at the view. That sunset. You can even see the moon out there. Barely. Not on camera. And then of course you got the mountains over here and then million dollar homes. And here I am camping in the dirt. And although it is October, I was expecting it to be cold. I've not even hooked this guy up. Make a video on wiring and starting up that heater because I thought it was going to be cold. Man, it's 80 degrees right now. It is hot. Just for situations like this where it's hot, got this little fan. I was opting between this one and the Milwaukee, but this is the clip. So it's nice the first time I'm going to use it in the tent. It's real strong for as small as it is. I have the 4 amp hour lithium battery in it. It lasts a long time. Two speeds. That'll do just nice. But I used this fan when I was up on an RV roof in uh, direct sunlight. Just super sweaty, super hot. That thing saved my life, man. It was awesome. So it's midnight. Found all the horses. They're so cute. I found all the cute horses. Of course, I don't know what they're eating, man. It's just like bare desert floor. They're chilling. It's a weird sound to wake up to, all these hooves. All I did was clear my throat. They didn't like that. <clears throat> go, by, go by the other camper. All right, cool. There's like 10 piles of poo out there now. That's awesome. All right, good night again. Good morning, everybody. Got some oatmeal cooked up. Got some coffee made. I'd like some nice espresso in the morning as the balloons go up. Can see them way out there. Can you see them way out there? Right behind that bush. I just saw 12. 12 or so. Oh, we got one going up. It is way out there though. It's not prime viewing distance, that's for sure. The ones that already went up are gone. They already flew south. 